What's up guys, it's Arnek and welcome back. This is Tutorial Tuesday with another episode of Quick Tips. Today I'm going to show you the best way to quickly and easily liquefy your animations in Adobe After Effects. But before we begin, let's grab ourselves a drink, shall we? So we've all seen this type of transition, right? While those have a certain artistic style, sometimes you just need something a little more alive and unique. One very simple way to achieve that is by using the turbulent displace effect that comes built on with Adobe After Effects. Simply search for turbulent displace and add it to your layer of choice. Crank up the amount and play around with the size values until you find something you like. In some cases you might want to mess around with the evolution slider, but from my experience for these kind of transitions it works best without. Once you find the look you're going for, simply copy the effect and paste onto the other layers. And easy as that, you made your own unique little liquid transition that you can also use as a mask to reveal something new. But the way I like to use the same effect even more is in combination with trim paths. Let me show you what I mean. Let's quickly create a small explosion using my favorite settings in After Effects. First off, make a line with only a stroke. As I mentioned in other videos before, place the path inside a group within the shape layer itself and then add our good old friend the repeater. Make a bunch of duplicates and place them any way you want. Add the trim paths effect and make the lines sort of explode from inside out by animating the start and end values from 0 to 100. Offset the keyframes and of course don't forget to easy ease them. Let's take a look at what we just did. Looking fine and all, and honestly I use this sort of quick animation all the time. But we can make it more interesting and unique. Add the turbulent displace effect on your new layer and pump up the amount values. Sometimes you can leave the size as is or reduce it even. But by cranking up those numbers, you will get something completely different. And actually this effect can give the impression that you took a whole lot of time to create this abstract and complex looking animation, when in fact you simply added a few effects on one single animated line. And there you have it. My best way to quickly and easily make liquefied animations in Adobe After Effects. Do you have any other or even better ones? Drop your favorites in the comments below. If you made it this far, thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. And also ring that bell to be notified about future videos. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!